guys, it's Steph. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming my paper purge for the Conmary series. Now, I don't actually have footage on this one just because I wanted to film it for you guys, but it was just, there was too much. I, 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 I've mentioned it before, I'm an extremely, extremely, extremely awful hoarder, especially of paper products. Um, I have notebooks out the wazoo, like ridiculous amounts of notebooks, some that have never even been written in. I shouldn't say have, I should say had, because I'm filming this after doing the purge, obviously. Um, I did have an introduction for this video filmed, and then I started to film the purge, and it was just, it was just too much. And there was also a fair bit of stuff that had some personal information on it, like bills and, and different things, so... Yeah, I went into this particular, um, what's it called? I went into this particular category knowing full well that I wasn't even going to look through stuff unless it was a, a bill or something personal, and I was just going to throw it all away, like, get it out, because I just have too much, and I, I'm the kind of person, I've tried to purge this kind of stuff before, and I'm the kind of person who will go through, and if there's pages in a notebook that's been written in that I don't want, then I will rip the pages out and keep the rest of the book, regardless of what's written in it, or I'll rip out the pages that I want and throw the rest of it out, and it's really not accomplishing anything. Thing. Um, so I did keep a few things that are sort of relevant and a few notebooks that I hadn't written in at all, um, which I already have plans for moving forward, but I'm not going to do any of that until I finish the purge because I'll probably revisit, um, this section as well when I get into the stationary section, um, which is not a section, it's part of the kimono, um, kimono category, like the miscellaneous stuff. There's a section on um, household supplies and stationery is one of the sections in that and I have a lot of stationery. So I'm going to get to the, I'm going to revisit a lot of that type of paper stuff when I get to that section. So you'll probably see it now that it's pared down a lot. Um, but at this current point in time, I just had too much to be able to film it um, adequately for you guys and um so I, 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 I gave up <laughs> which is why I'm just talking to you guys but I really wanted to just sort of sit down and just talk to you about the process because it was obviously extensive and it was a challenge for me because I am such a hoarder of things um as I said, I kept the notebooks and stuff that I felt were very relevant. Any personal information, there are some personal information things that I didn't want to keep. I don't, I don't want them, but it's just too much to dispose of at this point in time. There's too much of it and I want to sort through it with a fine tooth comb because some of it relates to my rental property and some of it's for certain things that I can reuse uh, when the time comes to provide ID for certain things and, and so on and so forth. So I want to um, keep on that train of thought, you know what I mean? Um, but I didn't even bother filing anything. I'm not even going to start filing things again until the start of the financial year. So 1st of July, I'm going to set myself up for a filing system. If you're interested in seeing a video of that, just a side note, um, leave me a comment below and let me know and I can sort of go over how I want to file my documents and stuff like that. But right now, I'm just throwing everything out. I am of the opinion that you do not need to keep every single bill for seven years because everything's digitalized and I'm going to start going through that as well. Also, another side note, when I do finish the Comrie series, um, the cleaning section and then the organization section, I don't know if I'm going to do a redecoration series because there's a possibility that I am moving out of this particular house in August. So I don't think I'm going to redecorate anything. I might do a reorganization of each Comrie section if and when I do move, and then I will do a decoration per room, or like a redecorating per room type series, I guess. But I'm also, I've also been considering doing um, a Comrie series, like a secondary one, um, adapted to digital files. So, um, you know, I'm a, I'm a student, so I've got... Um, 
my norm, my personal email and my student email plus my YouTube email and my business email. So four email accounts. Um, and then I've got all my files for uni, all my personal files, all my business files, you know, etc. So on and so forth. And then I've got photos and videos and then I've got music um, and also just random documents, random downloads and random files, games, applications, software, etc. on my computer. If you'd be interested in a digital Comory series, leave that in the comments below as well because that would be real motivation for me to clean out my emails and computer and everything else that I need to do. I'd love to try and work something out like that for you guys. No more side notes. So to the paper purge. Um, so as I said, I, did, I've, I went into it knowing that I was just going to throw things out. Like not even look at them, just throw them, throw them, throw them. If you're someone like me who does hoard things like that and you know that 99.9% .9 of that stuff to you is completely useless, just get rid of it. Throw it away. You do not need to keep it. It is pointless. There is no reason for it. Just get rid of it. Um, so I've, you know, that's, that's sort of what I've done. Um, yeah, I really don't have a ton to say on it because I went into it thinking that I was going to throw everything away. Like I went into it with that mindset and I knew that that was going to be my aim of that particular, um, category. So yeah, um, <sighs> I feel really good about it too, knowing that I've gotten rid of so much stuff. I'm actually looking, like, just, you know, sort of to the side here. I've actually got three, four garbage bags full of stuff. I also did my book purge just recently. Um, so I've got some, some stuff, uh, like, book purge stuff that I have to throw out as well. Plus just some random bits and pieces that I found in my room while I was going through this stuff that I'm throwing away and I also did purge through my clothes just a little bit more and it got rid of like four or five extra things um but I've got four garbage bags there that are all basically able to be recycled because it's all just paper stuff it's or three bags of paper stuff and one bag of just general rubbish you know uh so yeah I feel really good once those particular bags are out of my room, which is going to happen straight after this video, I will feel so much better. I already feel so much better, so much cleaner and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. Next up in this series is uh, the kimono section. And the first, I have done a, a short video on, on, I will do, next up in this series is the kimono section, the kimono categories rather, and I will do a short video on um, explaining the kimono series, like kimono, sorry, the, oh, what? I will do a separate video on explaining the kimono category in a little bit more detail. And then following that, the first one is uh, CDs and DVDs. And I am so excited to be getting rid of stuff that's involved in those. So yeah, um, that's really it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you're following along with me. Any questions or comments you have about your particular paper purge, I would love to know what other people's experiences were because I know not everyone is a paper hoarder like I am. Also go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any more of my Comory videos or any other videos for that matter. All my social media links are all already down below as well. Please follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, whatever. Um, and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye!